Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Ninja, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a cross-play server between your Xbox One and your Windows 10 PC. So that's going to be really great, as well as I'm going to be showing you how to enable cross-play on your new Trado server, as well as a bunch of other cool things. Now, what you will need for this will appear on the screen like right now, so make sure you have those things, otherwise this is not going to work for you at all in your favor. Now. Quickly, for those that have no idea what crossplay is, let's just quickly talk about crossplay allows you to play that said game on your Windows 10 PC or your Xbox. Secondly, it allows you to carry over your progress. So that means if you did a massive awesome map on your Xbox, well then that's okay, you can continue on your PC if you're gonna say go away or something. Next thing is it allows you to play with your friends who have the same game. So that means if I've got Ark on the Windows 10 PC but I don't have an Xbox, don't worry. If my friends are playing on the Xbox, they're just going to invite me and then bam, I'm playing with them from my PC. Not to worry at all. And then that is literally, that is crossplay in its whole. Now, let's get straight into it. First thing you need to have is you need to have a gold account and a silver account, alright? Now, the gold account is the one that owns Ark itself, right? It, it literally bought Ark Survival Evolved, so you got to have that one. And then the silver account is the one that doesn't own Ark at all. You can just quickly make one up here on this website, on the Microsoft website. Just quickly make one, doesn't matter, free of charge, there you go, silver account, done, dusted. Once you have done that, then you need to go to the Microsoft Store. This is where you will actually sign in the gold account. So the gold account signs in to the Windows Store itself, and then you got to, once you've done that, oh by the way, if you're worried that your PC can't handle it, quickly go down here, check the system requirements, oh, it's a good, your PC can run it, there you go, you can run the, a server now, right? Or you can play with your friends. And also crossplay is only between Xbox and PC because PlayStation is a part of it. So there you go. Now, anyway, so the host account, the one that owns Arc, is going to be logged onto the Xbox, uh, sorry, Windows Store at all times. Then, you go to the Xbox app, and this is where you sign in your silver account. Now, once you've, basically, what happens is, think of it like game sharing, right? The host gives you permission to play the um, game, right? Free of charge, because you don't own it, right? So, the Windows 10 account saying, hey look, this bloke here, he has the game, even though he never bought it, he has access to play the game, because I said so. Our PC's like, oh sweet, no worries. So you jump on the Xbox app as your account, like do do do, and then you get on. It's like, yeah, I can play Ark Survival Evolved, even though I never paid for it. Woohoo! And there you go. You can then do it. Now, then you gotta go flip to the Xbox app, and here you are. This is the account that will be registered, and that is the silver account. So whatever, whoever is signed on to the Xbox app is going to be the host name of the like the host server, or is going to you know be the person that you're gonna play that with your mates. Alright, um, so let's get right into it. If you're going to make a server, quickly go to the screen, go run a dedicated server, get your server password, admin password, normal things, get your session name, and then you've got to click that thing, enable crossplay. Then once you've launched the server, then anyone on PC or Xbox can join you. Of course, if you've got a password, then they're not going to join you unless you know, they all know the password. Um, or you can just invite your friends. Um, so that's how you make a crossplay server. It's literally not that high. You just like, Make get it and to make sure your two accounts quickly sign on. There you go, done and dusted. Um, and there you go. Now, if you want to do it on your Xbox, there's a few things that you need to know. But okay, hold on, no, I'll get back to the PC. Sorry. So all right, I've just I'm gonna launch this up quickly so I can explain better. Right. So Snowy Phoenix, my silver account has just opened the world. Right now, I'll go into my Xbox and I'll log on to my gold account. So that's Ninja. I'll log on to Ninja. I'll see Snowy Phoenix is running in the server. I'll join Snowy Phoenix, and there you go. You can play. All right. Now, with the Xbox version of crossplay, it's a wee bit different. You need to sign in as the host account itself. So Ninja is the host account. He owns Ark. Um, you know, Snowy doesn't, so with him, he is going to launch the server for me, and then that means, um, you know, people can then join and all that, and Ninja will be the server, so the Xbox will be the server, um, you know, and, but the thing is with the P uh, Xbox version is, right, you're like, oh great, my host Xbox is launching Ark, I can't play with my friends, don't worry, you can play on your PC, yes, that is right. If you have got this set up the way it was supposed to be, as I just mentioned then, you can say, hey look, Ninja's playing R. No worries, join on a Bam, there you go. You've just joined yourself. Congratulations. And that is literally the whole crossplay thing, guys. It's not that hard. Make sure you got the, those accounts, like I said. Download, install the game, you know, bam, there you are. I've got your account, and there, you've just done it. You've got crossplay set up. It's amazing. Now, 
if you're like, I don't want to host any of these servers, that is so lame, right? You go to the join the Ark place, and then there you go, it's going to launch up all the crossplay servers. Mine's left on non DOK, so it doesn't matter. But you just look for the PC servers, and you'll find crossplay servers, so that's pretty mad. Now, there is a few key things you need to know about the server that you're going to be running on your PC if you choose to run it before we end this. First thing first, it can have up to 70 players at once. Yes, that is right, your PC server can hold 70 people at once. Similar like the Xbox, it can have, you know, quite a lot of people as well, but this is like, you know, amazing. And if you've got a great computer, then you're basically going to have the best server in the universe. Like, it's not going to crash, it's going to be like a Neutrado server, effectively, um, if you've got a really good PC. Um, next thing, it graphically destroys your PC. Like, imagine you've got a really crappy PC, and you're trying to, say, play StarCraft on Ultra Graphics. You are going to not be able to play that game in a billion years. Same thing with this, if you do not have a good enough graphics and processor and all that stuff on the PC that is going to be running the server, yes, stuff. It ain't happening whatsoever. So you gotta make sure that's good. Like I said, go check the system requirements if you're scared about that. Uh, but that is, that's, that's literally how you set up the server. Now, a few more things. If you want to host your own non-dedicated session, so this is basically, you'll be playing, your friend can join, yeah, 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 we can all have fun, right? That's an audio message, but a non-dedicated, there is that annoying thing called a tether. That's right, your friends can only be with them, so, you know, they're on a leash effectively, right? Now, on the PC, Windows 10 version, the tether is increased by 50%, so I think it's 500 meters now? Um, but in the near future, it's going to be like a slider like here, so you can increase it or decrease it to your heart's content. Um, and then, that is... That is everything. That is literally covered in smashing awesomeness right there so that's how you set up your server guys pretty self easy and explanatory then once you've done that you want to go over here and we're going to talk about how to set up a Nitrado server um, these are all the links in the description bleh, the links will be in the description below anyway Ark released this a while ago I don't have a Nitrado server I can't actually physically show you my apologies but you find their picture you go here go to your settings click cross plate then bam there you go the server you're paying for you can now have PC lads and Xbox lads coming to join you having a fun time there are the instructions as well if you were like oh I need to triple check the instructions look look at that easy as have your account bam dust the there you go PCs up and running for days but that is it guys that is everything I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope you all can have amazing service and great time on Ark I will see you guys around in my next video have some fun take care and be awesome